Hello, and welcome to another video. This one is about why you probably shouldn't run Python scripts as Python thing slash thing dot py. Doesn't do what you want it to do. Uh, alternatively, this video could have been titled, Why Aren't My Imports Working? Uh, I get this question a lot, and I see this on Stack Overflow, Stack Overflow probably two or three times a day. So I figured I'd throw this in a video and hopefully explain what's going on. Anyway, uh, let's jump into it. I'll show you some examples and then show you the right way to run modules. Uh, so in this, we're gonna set up a few modules here. Uh, we're gonna make an A module. We're also going to make a B module. It's gonna be a top level module. And we're gonna make a main.py and uh, a slash double internet. So if we look at our current working directory, this is kind of what we have here. And this is the script we're gonna try and run. And we're gonna put a little bit of code in b.py. Uh, let's just, for the sake of the video, we're just gonna put something very, very simple in there. And we're gonna open up a slash main.py and do from b import x. And we're gonna print uh, hello, hello world with x. And we'll even do this so you can see that it is x. And uh, at the service, this looks like it should work. We are using an absolute import to refer to a top level module here, and we're importing the name from it. But if we go to run python3 a slash main.py, we get a module not found there. It couldn't find module b, but it's, it's right here, Python. Why couldn't you find it? Uh, and the reason for this is Python does kind of a weird thing, uh, or at least it's kind of annoying to explain to, to beginners why it does this. And I actually don't like this behavior either. I would love to change this behavior, but it's existed for years and years. So I think we'd break a bunch of stuff. But what Python does is when you call a script here with a file name, it puts the directory of that file name on the beginning of sys.path uh, and not your current directory. So your current directory is not importable by default. Uh, and if we go in here and just to demo that, if we put sys and do print sys.path, actually let's uh, pretty print that eprint.pprint sys.path. Uh, and if we run this again, you'll see that it puts the A directory on the beginning of the path. And now this is just part of the standard lib uh, itself. You might see something a little bit different. This disk packages is, is Ubuntu specific. If you're on Windows, of course, you'll see different paths. Uh, but the important part is that this is the first thing on our path, not our working directory, but the directory of the script that we ran. Um, and so if we move B inside of A, then it would kind of work, and then it would look like it's relative imports, which you don't really want. Python 2 used to have relative imports, which made some of this look like it worked, uh, but it often made it so that you could import a module under two different names, and there's just all sorts of weird little bugs with relative imports. Uh, so they got rid of them in Python 3, except they still kind of exist because of this weirdness here. Anyway, all of this to say this is probably not what you want to do. Uh, the way that you want to run this is using dash m. And what dash m is, is to run a module. We look at python3 dash dash help, uh, somewhere in here. Dash m module, run the library module as a script. So instead of running python3 a slash main.py, which doesn't work, we're gonna run python3 dash m a dot main. And so this is the dotted module path to this particular module here. And you'll see that when we run this now, it puts our current working directory on sys.path. And so our import works fine, and you'll see it prints hello, hello world, which is usually what you want to do. Now, of course, uh, it is a little bit weird to put your current working directory on the path, so some, some, sometimes you probably might not want to do this. Uh, and in that case, you would want to set up some sort of package and make some sort of console script entry point, which we've done in other videos. Uh, we can do a simple one here from setup tools, for setup. Uh, set of name equals example, and then entry points equals console scripts. Uh, I don't know, a main equals a dot main, colon main. And then you would write an actual main here. Something like that. Uh, and then if you made a virtual enough here, and pip install dot, uh, it's not quite going to work because we didn't set everything up uh, right. Uh, packages equals find packages. Now if we do pip install dot, we should 
Ooh, that's new. I've not seen that output before. I guess that's the new rich integration. Okay. Okay. Uh, pip install dot, and now we should be able to run a main. Uh, oh, right. We also need to include. <laughs> we need to make this package properly. So we need to include B. And now we can run a main. So we've made ourselves a little console script and we've installed our package. So you can see here, we got b.py and a in here. So this will be on our on our path for us automatically. You can see here it is in those site packages. Uh, so that's, that's kind of like how you would make a true package for this. Uh, one quote unquote solution that I've seen to this problem is to instead, um, let me get rid of all the junk that, uh, that setup.py made. Uh, one solution that I've seen to this problem, and it's not really a solution, is to use Python path. And again, Python path is almost always wrong in the same way that running a script is almost always wrong. Um, but this will also appear to work, main slash b.py. Uh, oops, main sl or a slash main.py. And I'll next up here. And this will appear to work, but you'll see that we also still have this a on the path here. So uh, oh, we actually need to run this. A system exit main. You'll see that it works, but we also still have this here. And if you ever have two modules with the same name, which can happen sometimes, so like say we had a slash b.py, and that file just exists and is empty, uh, if we try and run this with Python path, you'll see that we get another error again. And that's because it tried to import the wrong b.py. Because we actually have two different ways to access uh, our local modules. And so Python path doesn't really solve this. And in some cases can you know, lead to a completely different module being loaded. Uh, but anyway, the summary of this video is use dash m when running modules. Uh, don't run things as scripts because it doesn't do what you expect it to. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.